Protesters gathered at the Vermont Supreme Court to protest Medicaid cuts today. The self-named nonviolent Medicaid army argues current health care policies have put people in the state and across the U.S. at risk. ABC 22's Jordan Barber tells us more about the protest. She is live tonight in the newsroom. Vermont residents and members of the Vermont Workers Center gathered at the Vermont Supreme Court today to, in their words, put the health care system on trial. Protesters are denouncing a national Medicaid cutoff and Green Mountain Care Board's consultants report, which suggests that the restructuring of four Vermont hospitals should happen. They're also calling on policymakers to fulfill their promise of the Vermont 2011 Universal Health Care Law, Act 48. Oh, look at the people, look at all the people they deny. Protesters shared personal stories and spoke at length about the effects of Medicaid cuts on both Vermont residents and health care workers. Speakers like Mads Walker from the Vermont Workers Center also gave their thoughts on a report written by a consultant, Bruce Harmony, that was presented to the Green Mountain Care Board. It's great that we want to invest more in our, our community health centers and we want to um, look at ways to build healthier communities, but right now if we were to close a restructure like Grace Potter, for example, or Springfield, um, it, it decimates a community's access to care. The consultant's report proposed, amongst other changes, transformations for four hospitals, Grace Cottage, Gifford Medical Center, Springfield Hospital, and North Country Hospital, that would result in the restructuring of inpatient units and cuts to other procedures. While the protesters agree with some of the proposed changes, Jen Chamberlain, a provider at Springfield Hospital, says a restructuring could leave residents without health care access. This report lays out a framework to completely overall our health care system and our hospitals. And in the case of Springfield Hospital, where I work, the recommendation is to close. They want to close the hospital. They want to keep the ER open, but they want to close the hospital. I believe this would be absolutely devastating to the community. The Department of Vermont Health Access indicated in a report that between April and December of 2023, close to 28,000 Vermonters had lost Medicaid coverage. The issue is not just subject to Vermont, however, as Medicaid cuts are affecting Americans across the U.S. Today's protest is part of a national nonviolent Medicaid Army Week of Action that will span across 10 states. All protesters across the U.S. are demanding an end to Medicaid cutoffs and an expansion of health care. Meanwhile, in Vermont, calls for legislators to create a unified health care system will continue. Reporting live from the newsroom, Jordan Barber, ABC 22 News.